Posture 101. First off, I want to explain what posture is. Posture is your go-to foundation or how your body supports itself using your muscles and bones while you're either stationary or you're moving. Common bad posture this day and age is a forward head and a rounded shoulders. This is often seen because we spend too much time on technology in this hunched over position and less time upright in the proper position. When you spend time in bad posture, over time your muscles change and that bad posture becomes normal posture. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to stretch and how to strengthen the muscles necessary to help get your bad posture back into good posture. This next stretch is called the chest stretch. It can be done in different ways, but a most popular way to do this is in the frame of a door. So our chest muscles get tight because we do so much work in front of our body. As those muscles start to tighten, our shoulder blades start to roll forward and then our head starts to come forward as well. So to stretch out our chest muscles, helps us keep those muscular imbalances out of the picture so that we can keep our posture where it needs to be. Do this stretch, hold for 15 seconds once a day, three to five times a week. Now I'm gonna to demonstrate to you a stretch for our neck muscles. So if you can take your right arm and place it behind your back, like so, taking your left arm, placing it on top of your head, and gently pulling your ear towards your shoulder, you should get a nice stretch in through the muscles of your neck down into your back and your shoulder. Those muscles become tight as our head rounds forward and stays in this position. Some common muscles that become overactive or tight with bad posture are our hip flexors and also our hamstrings. So I'm going to show you a way to effectively stretch your hip flexor and then we'll go into a hamstring stretch. So if you can get down on the floor on both knees and if you need something you can have a chair or a bench to support you on your side. You're going to take one leg, step it out in front of you, bend into that front leg but keep your torso up tall or slightly leaned back and you should feel a stretch across the front of your hip. From here, you can also go into a hamstring stretch. Shift that weight back, straighten the front leg so that your toes are pointed forward and reach toward your toes, stretching the hamstring muscle. For each of these stretches, hold for 15 seconds at least once a day, three to five times a week. The next drill is called the double chin drill. The muscles on the back of our necks get weak because of our forward head. So what we're going to do is strengthen those muscles by doing the following drill. The double chin drill works on neck or head retraction. So what you do is with your chin parallel to the floor, you are going to bring it back towards your back like you're almost trying to make a double chin. So you bring your head forward to a normal position and then retract your head back so that you get that muscle work in the back of your neck to help strengthen those muscles. Do this exercise 10 to 15 repetitions at least once a day for three to five days a week. This exercise I'm about to show you is called a posture angel and it can be done against a wall. What you want to do is line yourself up against a wall with your feet lined up at the bottom, 
and your lower body touching the wall. With your hands, palms facing out and fingertips facing up with your thumbs facing in. This exercise is to see if you can bring your hands up along the wall, up above your head, keeping them touching the wall, but also keeping your lower back from arching away from the wall. If, during the posture angel, if your lower back has to come off the wall, then you know that there are some range of motion and strength issues in your shoulder joints. If you are able to keep your lower body against the wall while you raise your hands, keeping them flat against the wall, then you know you have good range of motion for this exercise. So the next strengthening exercise I'm going to talk to you about is called Prone Cobra. This exercise is performed lying down on your stomach with your hands placed underneath your forehead, eyes looking down at the floor. What you're going to do is take a deep breath in and as you exhale you're going to lift your upper body up off the ground, hold for two seconds and then lower back down to the ground. As you raise up, make sure that your eyes stay focused on the floor as to not strain your neck. If you can do this exercise 10 to 15 times, once a day, 3 to 5 times a week would be preferred. The next exercise is called mat swimming. This exercise is performed lying on your belly on the floor with your arms and your legs stretched out with your Focus, gaze down at the floor. You're going to lift your right arm and your left leg up off the floor at the same time, holding them for two seconds and then lower back down, repeating the same with the left arm and the right leg. Complete this exercise 10 to 15 repetitions once a day, three to five times a week. The final strengthening exercise that I'm going to talk to you today is called the bird dog. This exercise is performed on our hands and knees on the floor. Making sure that your arms are spread about shoulder width apart and your knees are spread about hip width apart. Keeping your stomach muscles engaged and breathing in and out, you're going to lift your right arm and your left leg up at the same time, trying to keep a straight line through the whole body. Hold those for two seconds and then lower and repeat on the left side. Do this exercise 10 to 15 repetitions on each side once a day, three to five times a week.